But is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a home delivery drone and it's dividing a suburb. Angry locals reckon the noise sounds like a loud swarm of mosquitoes. You be the judge. It sounds like a very, very loud swarm of mosquitoes. I just think it's the convenience of it, really. It, it's just so simple and quick. It's just like a hissing. It reminds me of, like, when you get a fly stuck in your room when you're trying to fall asleep. It's like a dentist drill. Dan Ling's castle was once his own peaceful paradise. Here, butterflies are welcome, but there's something else in the air. A swarming, loud aerial invasion. We feel like we're prisoners to this noise. We have to close the front door because you can hear it coming. I actually think it lowers the values of properties around here, having those things flying around. These are wing delivery drones. They're much bigger than the recreational ones we can buy at electronic stores. Flying to your home, drone delivery has been running in Canberra and in Logan, Queensland for several years. It's convenient for some, but residents like Dan living in the flight path say it's time for them to buzz off. I feel angry. I feel annoyed. It actually stresses me sometimes. I, you know, you're sort of chilling out and um, after working all day, you hear this buzzing noise. Like it's, um, it's like a very, very loud mosquito and then it gets louder and louder. The service started as part of a global trial with more retailers getting on board to get their products in the sky. Popularity soaring because users only have to pay for the cost of the goods. If you feel like, you know, sausage roll, you just order a sausage roll, meat pie, uh, they do like toothpaste, you can order a, a pancake mix, so you get that with some syrup. It's just like, why not? <laughs> you know? It's gone too far. Here's another one now as we speak, I can hear it. There we are, there's two in a row, look at that. Look at that. You know, there's eight. Eight in an hour. Like a modern day smoke signal, we followed the flight path, leading straight to Dale Carter's place just around the corner. So I just ordered a can of soft drink, I think it was a Fanta. So this would be my little six order today. Taking off from the local shopping centre and arriving within a couple of minutes. So yeah, here it comes now actually. The delivery dropping right on Dale's driveway. Order 916 as well, so that's, you know, the crazy part about that. There's a lot of people that seem to use it. We crack that bad boy open. Can of drink. A nice little bottle of water. So for a can of drink it was just $1.25, which is pretty cheap. Dale is no doubt one of the best customers. Wait until you see his stash. So I got a few of these. Nothing uh, for me, nothing goes away. So it does say please recycle on the back of these as well. Dale is an artist. His studio is his front yard and all of those drone delivery boxes become his art and it's thirsty work. Just paint little bits of planets and stuff on them, you know, things like that. But what about all that noise hovering over his head? Um, well, I found my, uh, my, my youngest son, who's not even two, he's a little bit scared of them because we had a, a lot of us in the neighbourhood, like a few of us along here, we ordered, we were all just going mad one day. I think we ordered all, all in total about 30, 35 drones. The sound can be a bit, can it be a bit harsh, but I mean, I'm kind of used to it. I, I don't see much of a problem with it when, you know, you've got the, the road over there, you hear cars and trucks, it's no different. But his neighbours don't all agree. Sean Bridgewater lives just up the road. So it's just annoying working from home. You know, the sound doesn't really end apart from when they stop doing it at the end of the day. Drone noise complaints are handled by the federal government's Department of Infrastructure and Transport. Wing does require noise approval and can only operate during set hours. In Logan, Wing has made more than 75,000 deliveries this year alone and claims it's only received three noise complaints. It's also introduced a quieter drone, which has almost halved the sound level. Currently, there are no legislated noise standards for drones. Some people might like it and they might say, oh, you know, Dan, you're a baby boomer and, you know, you're just whinging. I'm not, I'm all for, te I embrace technology, I really do. And, you know, get with the program. That's the world we live in. But 
I think it can go too far. I mean, this is just easier. There's no roads that have to interfere with. It's just straight there, boom, there it is, you know. There's your drone, there's your mood, you know, drink, you know. If you want drink, chips, anything, it's snacks on the go. It's, and it's reasonably priced with them at the moment. And that's what I tell the government, just to, you know, to back off. Just take it easy. Don't take the community for granted with these things. Well, the residents have made formal complaints and are planning to take their fight to the government to hopefully work out a solution or at least a compromise.